Good morning, good morning. It's Pastor Callie on this beautiful Wednesday morning. This is the 23rd of September. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's hard to believe that we're already in, the, the, almost to the end of September. Good morning, Carmelita. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Peggy. Good morning, Jamie. You ladies are so beautiful this morning. Donna, Rhonda, Summerlin, good morning. Peggy, Garrett, Linda, good morning. Monica, as you ladies just get on this morning, I just declare the blessing of the Lord Darlene. I think it's Darlene, yes, Joyce, Margaret, Chase. Lord, I just declare the blessing of the Lord over these ladies. This morning, I sense your power so strong, and I thank you for your goodness and your love and your mercy. Your mercies are new every morning, and we just give you the praise and the glory and the honor. Ladies, I want you to go, uh, if you don't already have it ready, I'm back home. I'll be home for a week. Uh, I'll be here all the way through next week. So. For a week, I'm going to be leading it every morning just because I'm home and the Holy Spirit spoke to me about spending some extra time with you this week. So I, I sent my champion girls a message and told them I'm going to follow the instruction of the Lord and pray with you every morning for the next seven days. Um, so I won't be taking any breaks. And then today at noon, uh, I'll log in at noon. I'm here at home. I'll log in at noon sorry about the other day we just we it didn't happen and so i just so apologize but i'm home and today at noon i'll log in from the church and we'll pray probably about 15 minutes together at noon today uh, i'll be at the church today so i'll log in at lunch but i want to give you an opportunity to go get your um, get your elements today we're going to take communion and just remember what the lord did for us on calvary God, I just give you the praise and the glory and the honor. I thank you for the opportunity to love you today. I thank you for the opportunity to start my day in prayer, to start my day with you, Lord, to start my day with these beautiful ladies, these Holy Spirit-filled women, Holy Spirit-filled women that are so faithful across this country to get up every morning and pray. I just declare that they are blessed. I declare they have eyes to see. I declare they have ears to hear. I declare that they have an unbelievable, obedient heart. Lord, I thank you that your mercies are new. Lord, we just ask you today again to forgive us of any sin that might so easily beset us. Anything that we've done that's been displeasing to you, I ask you to forgive us, Lord, to wash us and cleanse us. And you know what that could have been. Just if you can think, if anything comes to your mind, just repent. Uh, God's not in upstairs in, in heaven erasing our name from, a, from the blackboard of heaven every time we make a mistake. When we repent, we are reconciled immediately with the Father. And so, Lord, I just thank you that you are so good. And I, I ask you, God, to just give us such a hunger, such a hunger for your presence. God, let it be almost, let it be unbearable, the hunger that we have. Let us just long for you. Let a longing for you come over our hearts day and night. Day and night, let us have a hunger for you. I want to tell you, ladies, listen, I'm going to ask. We are getting closer and closer to the end of the year. And so I'm going to ask you to pray about uh, more consecration. I I'm just asking you to pray about more consecration. Fasting. Praying every day. Anytime that we have a noon, I'd love for as many of you to come on as you can. And then this Monday, I mean, I'm sorry, this Thursday night, we're doing our Houston prayer invasion. As I was coming home on the plane uh, last, uh, yesterday afternoon, the Spirit of God just really I, overtook me. I was in the corner near the window, and I was just praying and seeking the Lord, and uh I heard by the Spirit that there was going to be a major healing and uh, alignment this Thursday night. Major, When we did the Houston one, there would be major healing and alignment. That's what I heard the Lord say. So I would love to invite you. It'll be 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. So wherever you are 
in the world. But if you could just join on, we're going to have a full-blown band. We're going to have Leland with us and our worship team. So it will be different. We've, we're having more leaders. We've got two pastors in the city that have been so gracious. Uh, Pastor Don and Jonna Gibson out of Mercy Gate, which is an Assembly of God church in Mont Bellevue. They have opened up their church for us to do it there. And uh, so we're going to have it there. And then, of course, you know, Pastors Todd and Cindy and I and our crew and our worship team. And then Pastors Mark and Dina Trice from uh, Mont Bellevue as well. Hillside Church. They've been there a long time. Hillside's been there. It's a long standing uh, Holy Spirit Church that's been in this area for, for decades. So they'll be there as well. And um, just supporting and praying with us. Both these pastors are going to be praying with us. And I'm so thankful for that. I really appreciate their uh, willingness to come together and pray for our city, pray for our region. Anyone in Houston area, if you're anywhere in the Houston area, go on to the events page and sign up. We do have a few spots left. It's filling up fast in Houston. So uh, my friends in Beaumont, my, my Gina, if you're listening, or anybody over on that side of town, uh, Y'all come join us Thursday night. It's going to be fabulous. We're going to have Leland there. We're going to have lots of music. We're going to have a full-blown band. But most of all, we're going to have Jesus the Christ there. Jesus is going to be there, and he's going to be there in his power and in his glory. And when it is broadcast, not only will there be healing and alignment in the room, but there is going to be a major shift in the spirit. I believe that this Thursday is uh, there's going to be a major shift in the spirit and many people are going to be healed and not only healed physically but healed uh, spiritually their eyes to see there's going to be spiritual healing so i want to encourage you to be online with us and then to invite people to be online with us because god's going to do something miraculous also the return with lou engel starts on saturday night uh, and it'll be aired. I encourage everybody. We're, we'll probably be at the church a good part of the day watching that and praying with them. So I encourage everyone to be to be praying with Lou Engel. The return, it will be broadcast, and you'll be able to get it, and we'll be broadcasting it from our church as well. And just inviting anybody that wants to come in to pray is welcome to come in and pray with us on Saturday. So we just love you so much. We... Uh, we, we just know that God is doing great things. And um, I just sense that there is, um, everywhere I go, everywhere I go in America, I sense uh, ev like the water is getting deeper. It's kind of like if you've ever been around our hurricane er uh, area where you've lived on the coast. I've lived on the coast my whole life. When storms are coming in, you can see the tide rise. The tide begins to rise. I'm seeing the Holy Ghost tide rise across this nation. The Holy Ghost tide is rising. So, Lord, as your tide rises, I pray, God, that you would give us eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to obey. I thank you, God, that you are out of this revival that is hitting America. And it won't be just a revival that's a, a short visitation. I believe, Lord, you're coming to habitate over this country. The glory of the Lord is being dispelled over this country. It's pouring on this country. The glory of the Lord. Now, the glory of the Lord is glorious, but it is glorious and terrible all at the same time. While Peter's shadow was healing many in the streets in the New Testament church in Acts, that same glory was judging sin in the church. When Ananias and Sapphira came before the Lord, and they, when they asked when they ask what you sell your land for, they lied to the Holy Ghost. I don't believe God punished them for keeping a portion back. What I believe they were punished for was lying to the Holy Ghost. And, uh, we, you know, the glory of the Lord is a magnificent thing. But I don't think any of us have seen the glory the way we're going to see it. We are going to see it. And we've seen glimpses of the glory. We've been in, in, in glory meetings where we saw glimpses. But the glory of the Lord is falling on this nation in a way that is going to bring the most massive tsunami of a revival. The church is going to stand up like never before. We're going to see so many 
people saved and delivered and set free. The church houses are going to be filled. The streets are going to be filled with evangelists. What Sean Foyd is doing now will become common. He is a forerunner of what is coming. Uh, even, even next year, you will see a multiplicity of revivalists going out across America. Your children are being called to do the work of God. Your children. Yeah, your children and my children. Your children and my children. Your children and my children are being called. God is doing a work in our children. So get your, get your elements. We're going to take the elements this morning, and we're going to pray for a solid 30 minutes. Uh, there's 387 of you. I want to ask everyone right now to like this broadcast, to share this broadcast, and ladies, we must, that's why I really feel that I'm supposed to do this. I, God spoke to me in the middle of the night and said, while you're home, take up prayer seven days for seven days and ask the girls to just, your teams to rest for a week. And then he said, as many of the days at noon that you can pray and log on, I want you to pray and log on. He said, I want you to call them to fast. He said, I'm bringing in a harvest beyond your imagination. Ladies, your family is the harvest. Your neighbors are the harvest. Your city is the harvest. Your church is the harvest. God is calling us to, to pray, to fast, to read his word, to stay in communion with him. I want you to get your juice and your cracker. Lord, I just thank you for your body. I remember what you did on Calvary today. I remember and I thank you for the opportunity to be able to partake of the most expensive meal we'll ever, ever partake for the rest of our life. This is the most expensive meal. It cost you your life. It cost you your life. And God, we take this bread and we remember the stripes on your back. We remember the blood that poured out of your body. We remember the spears. We remember the crown on your head. We remember the agonizing pain. We remember you standing in the garden and said, you said, pray to the, pray to the Father God and said, if this cup can pass from me, you knew what was ahead. You, you struggled with your own humanity. And God, as we struggle with our own humanity and we struggle with our own weakness and we struggle with our own doubts sometimes in our own failures God you are right here with us you are right here with us and you are you are telling us we can do it we can be obedient we can we can make the sacrifice we can go the extra mile we can pray the extra hour we can fast the extra day we can pray the extra few minutes we can we can give the extra dollars we can go to a mission field we can go out and preach the gospel we can we can go to the highways and byways we can we can feed the homeless we can talk to our waitress in the restaurant. We can pray for the people at the exercise club. We can pray for people in our Kroger or in our H-E-B. We can do what you've called us to do because that your body was broken. And God, we take this in remembrance of you today. We remember your blood. We remember your blood. We remember your blood. It poured out of your body. It poured out of your body. Every drop. You said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. You forgave us. You loved us right till the very end. You loved us right to the very end. God, awaken our hearts. Forgive us, God. Forgive us again today, God. I ask you to forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. Start with me. Wash me, cleanse me today, Lord. Cleanse me, purify me. Let my heart beat with the same heartbeat that yours beats with. Let my desires be your desires. Let my, 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 my love be your love. Let give, increase my love, God, for you and for your word and for your people and for this nation. Increase my love. Let me love what you love and hate what you hate. 
Wash this nation. Cleanse us, God. Take us back, God, to a place that we are so hungry for you. God, let the righteousness and justice foundations, God, that, that you, your original intent for this country, let that, let that be made strong. God, we pray for righteousness and justice to be uh, rebuilt in America. We thank you that the walls of holiness and righteousness around this country are rebuilt. We ask you for Nehemiah's. We ask you, God, for Esther's. We ask you, God, for Deborah's. We ask you, God, for Daniel's. We ask you, God, for David's, for King David's. We ask you, God, for apostles and prophets. We ask you, God, for the fivefold ministry to arise in holiness and purity. God, we take this blood, we take this juice in remembrance of the blood that you spilt on Calvary. We ask you to wash us, to wash our family, to wash our nation. We remember, we remember Calvary. The blood speaks a better word. If you don't have Leland Mooring's record called Better Word, you need to go get it. That record is chock full of Holy Ghost songs. Uh, there is one song after another on that album that will just put you in glory. So go get it. Also, Gateway has a new, uh, he's actually is the worship leader for Gateway here in Houston and they have a new album out. And it, I think it's called I Have a Savior uh, is the new song that Leland does on that album and it's just so good. I listen to it. I got into a time of worship on the plane and I just listened to that song over and over. God is doing something amazing in America. He's doing something amazing in America. America will be saved. America will be saved. I want, I, you know, I, I, I really want to be uh, transparent with you and uh, treat you uh, as you are, you are my sister in Christ. You are, you are my family. So I want to be, uh, I, I try to be very, very honest and open about what I hear the Lord say. And, uh, and I believe, uh, what the word of the Lord has been to me from the very beginning that America will not go down in the flames of hell but a miracle will arise in the altar of incense and the prayers of God's people. And, and there are prayer movements that are arising all across this nation, and I believe the word of the Lord. But I do know that God has also spoken that it will get worse before it gets better by the end of the year. So you must be prepared. And how you prepare is spiritually, and how you get your family to prepare is spiritually. We must pray because the Bible says if you can't run with the footman, if you can't stay up with a footman, how are you going to run with a horseman? In other words, we're in a race, and we're in, we're in a war, and we've got to build up our spiritual muscles. Our Holy Spirit muscles have to be built up. And I, I, I know that when we get around this election time, things are going to get worse before the election. You don't have to be a prophet to know that. But that in prayer, God gave me some specific instructions to prepare for the end of the year. So I'm just asking you to pray. I'm asking you to ante up your prayer. Take your prayer up. Take your prayer up. If you want to join me at noon today, I'll be logging on from the church. I'd love to have you at noon prayer. Just get right back on this Facebook at noon and we can pray. Pray with us every morning, fast, but take your prayer life up and just ask Holy Spirit to give you wisdom uh, and strength to stand through whatever testing we may have to stand through until the end of the year. I believe by March of next year, things will feel uh, better again, and things will be in order, and revival will be in full swing. I believe revival's already started, but I believe by March of next year, it will be in full swing in America, and things will be in order. And so, Lord, we just thank you that for the promise that you gave me that America will be saved and will not go down in the flames of hell, but will arise in the altar of incense. I thank you, Lord, for the promise that our children will be saved, healed, delivered, and set free. Right now, I want you to type in your children's names. Type in your children's names, and then you begin to declare the word of the Lord over your children 
we are going to go back and look at these. And I've got prayer warriors on right now that are going to pray with you and agree with you. God is bringing revival in our children. I call forth Lana, Lila, and LJ. Trip is his nickname. I call forth blessing and revival over them. I declare that Lana will preach the gospel and will do everything that God has said she would do. There is a major, major shift that's coming in Lana and those babies' lives. I thank you for moving supernaturally in Lana's heart and let her submit to the Holy Ghost. I pray for Wes and Amanda, Austin, Presley, Amelia, and Kit Kat, Catherine. I pray, God, that Wes will answer the call of God, that you'll bring everything into order in their lives. I pray for the blessing of the Lord and the protection of the Lord. I pray for Luna and Lauren and Joseph and Jonah and Callie Ann and Angel and Elijah. I pray, God, that, that, that Luna and Lauren would accept the call of God on their life, that they would spend hours in prayer. God, draw my children to hours in prayer. I pray, God, for Jake and April and Violet. I pray, God, for Jake, that you would begin to wake Jake up in the middle of the night in April. Let them intercede morning, noon, and night. Let them, let them do everything you've called them to do. I pray for Rachel and Josh, God. I pray, God, that you would just wake Rachel up in the middle of the night and she would begin to pray and intercede. And Josh, the same, Father. I pray for my spiritual children at Celebration of Life. I pray for Alex and Nikki. I pray, God, for Sarah and Chris. I pray, God, for Chris and April, Lord. We pray, God, for Juan and Jessica. We pray for every one of our spiritual kids. We pray for Jack and Whitney. We pray for Leland and Mandy. We pray for Shelly and Peyton. We pray, God, for all for Danielle and Thomas. We pray for every young person in our church. We pray for every young couple in the church. We pray for every couple in the church that's not young, that's older. We pray for all of our church. Pray for your church. Pray for your family right now. Pray for your church. Pray for your family. Begin to call their names out. The blood of Jesus is being applied. The blood of Jesus is running running into your families, running into your streets, running into your cities. God is moving in such a powerful way. The Holy Spirit is having its way. The healing power of God is flowing right now on this broadcast. If you are sick with any kind of disease, anything, right now be healed. The power of God is healing you right now. Right now be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Any autoimmune disease heals. Sleeplessness, sleeplessness being healed. Uh, insomnia being healed right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for healing your people. I thank you, Lord, for healing your heart disease being healed right now. Diabetes being healed right now. Eyes being healed. People that can't see well, you're being healed right now. Being healed. E cororomo ondriai si indriai kai. Under indigestion, stomach issues, digestive issues. Being healed. Crohn's disease is being healed right now. Crohn's disease. The Lord is healing Crohn's disease right now. E cororomoso. By his stripes, you are healed. Many of you are getting a refilling of the Holy Spirit and your, your prayer language is coming anew. If you pray in the Holy Ghost, uh, you're in your living room. Nobody's listening to you. The only person the voice you can hear is mine. So pray in the Holy Ghost. When we pray in the Holy Spirit, we pray perfectly. There are 416 prayer altars, and God is moving. The Lord told me for the next seven days to pray with you. This is going to be a special seven days. A special seven days. And God is going to move in power and might and in healing over this broadcast. Many of you are being healed, physically healed, emotionally healed, financially healed, spiritually healed most of all. You're going to think clearly. You're going to think clearly. I thank you, Lord, for healing Liam Smith today. I want you to pray with me right now. There's a, he's like family. Mike Smith Jr. was Leland's first drummer. And, and we love Mike with all of our heart. And we love Hannah and we love their family. And uh, their little boy was diagnosed with cancer uh, in the front part of his 
brain area and they have drained it where he can he's got some relief but they're gonna have to do some chemo on him some radiation actually but I'm asking you to just believe with me right now that God's gonna heal him instantly today I'm asking you to believe with me right now that God's gonna heal little Liam, Liam. he's nine years old Lord we just thank you for healing Liam today supernaturally we ask you to heal Liam we ask you Lord to let your blood hit the top of Liam's head and flow all the way down to his feet and God as it hits his head and his brain we thank you that you heal this completely take every spot of anything that's cancerous out God when they go back to do another another MRI another check it's going to be gone it's going to be gone. And Lord, I ask you that you would just move on that doctor to check again, to check again, to check again. Lord, I thank you for healing Liam today. I thank you for strengthening Hannah's faith. I, strength, I thank you for strengthening Mike's faith. I thank you for doing something in Mike's heart and Hannah's heart. Draw them nigh unto you. I pray protection. I pray provision. And I thank you for healing that little boy. And I'm just telling you, raise your hands. God's healing you. He's healing diseases today. Cancer, be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Declare it out, ladies. Declare it out. You have power with God. Declare it out. Anyone, that's he anyone that needs to be healed, declare it out. You have power with God. God's healing right now on this broadcast. He's healing. I also prophesy that there is going to be 419 of you in the next few weeks are going to start having dreams from the Father. Dreams from the, from the Father. And He is going to speak to you about the coming year. And He is going to speak to you about your family. And He is going to speak to you about your call and your anointing and your mandate. And I just want to encourage every one of you to share the broadcast right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Share the broadcast and ask women. Ask your friends. Join us every day at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. I also want to encourage all of you to be with us Thursday night, we're going to do the Houston Prayer Invasion. It's going to be different than all the others because we're going to have full-blown band. We're going to have Leland with us. We're going to have our family with us. We're going to have uh, our church, a lot of our church with us and our worship team. Uh, we also have two amazing neighboring pastors in some of their congregation, Pastor Don and Jonna Gibson out of Mercy Gate in Mont Bellevue. We're hosting it at their church. And then Pastor Mark and Dina uh, Trice from Hillside Church in Mont Bellevue. And of course, Pastors Todd and Cindy and I uh, from here in Baytown. So we just thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to be able to pray over our city, to be able to play, pray over Houston. I want to ask anybody, we're going to be praying over Houston, the southeast Texas, all the way to Beaumont. We are praying for a major outpouring over these, these regions, over every Bible-believing church. I am I'm admonishing you, if you are in Houston, or Beaumont, or Baytown, or southeast Texas, or Dayton, or Cleveland, come be a part of it. It's this Thursday night, 7 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time. We have a limited amount, and we're not too far. I th we still have some seats, but you need to. You have to go on to the Eventbrite and sign up. It doesn't cost a dime to to come. It's not like an Eventbrite you pay for. Just an Eventbrite for us to know because we are doing social distancing. Uh, in um, you know, at respect for what's going on here in in Texas and the mandates. So we're asking you to sign up. Go to my events page and sign up. And Lord, we just thank you for what you're doing this Thursday. Also, ladies, please log on because as we pray from Houston, the Lord told me that we'll, there will be mighty, mighty demonstration of His Spirit on Thursday night and that many would be healed and delivered. I want to encourage you to invite your friends in your living room and have them watch the broadcast with you. It will start 7 
p.m. Central Standard Time. Next week, we are in Nashville. Nashville, come out. I'll be contacting all my Nashville peeps today and tomorrow. But Nashville, we'll be at New River Church on Wednesday night. And then we will be in Kentucky at Dana, Dana Coverstone's Church in Kentucky on Thursday night. Uh, so we want to encourage, that's next week. So next Wednesday and Thursday, we're in Nashville, Tennessee, and then Kentucky. I just encourage you, I just encourage you, uh, as we get closer and closer to the elections and the end of the year, I'm encouraging you to kick up your prayer times, to be faithful every morning at 8 a.m., and you are, and then join me as much as you can when I have these noon prayers. I'll be doing noon today at a prayer at noon today, and then, of course, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time this Thursday. So, Jesus, I just declare the blessing of the Lord over every one of these ladies. I thank you for miracles. Many of you will see major miracles even in the next seven days. There will be major miracles that are wrought in your family. Things are coming into order. Things are coming into order for you. This is a time to listen closely to the, the Spirit and obey His every word. Obey God's every word. Obey his every word. Be quick to repent and quick to obey his every word. I declare the blessing of the Lord. I also want to encourage you to sign up for Crown. There are many that are signing up for Crown. Pray and ask God if you're supposed to be there. We are going to have a sending and a commissioning at Crown that is going to be supernatural. God is really going to, I'm telling you, it is going to be a power-packed three days and God is going to do, uh, it will be li a life-changing event. So we love you so much. I honor you. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your mercy, Father. I thank you, God, that you love us. And I thank you, Lord, that these ladies love you. And I just declare the blessing of the Lord over them in Jesus' name. And we will see you ladies in the morning uh, and at noon today. God bless.